uh, interesting place you've got here, huh? Homie. What do you want? Oh, well, uh, the team just wanted to see if there was anything in particular you wanted. You know, figured it was a good idea to keep you happy. Only because that keeps us happy. We are definitely not wanting anything in return. <laughs> <sighs> anything you'd like added to catering? Uh, anything to spruce up your, um, lair here? A, a particular opponent you'd like to face? Bring me a sacrifice. Excuse me? Any opponent who faces me is doomed. A sacrifice. Oh, okay. <laughs> a sacrifice. Got it. <laughs> okay. I'll set it up. A mesmerizing and terrifying captain. The following is scheduled for one fall, making her way to the ring from Sweetwater, Texas. The captain, Gage Phelps, Cindy! I'm a believer that you do whatever it takes to win in WWE, but I don't know if it's worth your immortal soul. And that's what Cap has traded away for this infernal power she now possesses. The WWE Universe can only look on in awe and terror. Here comes everyone's favorite bundle of insanity. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. The superhero's flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. Guys, did you know that Nikki has a master's degree in history? Wait, wait, what? That is mind-blowing. Since Nikki looks like she can't remember what happened five minutes ago, much less 500 years ago. I might be seeing things, but it looks like the captain is pretty worn down. I wouldn't trust that, Saxon. I bet she's coiled up like a snake, ready to strike. She does look tired, though. I guess harnessing supernatural powers over a period of time will do that to someone. Who knows? And that was taking the attack to the competition with that one. Ooh. Man, just a multitude of strikes. Rights and lefts, elbows, knees, all of them lethal. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Well, oh, Nikki Cross manages the counter. Oh, that's just an agitating thing to do. There was no issue with that attack. Hey, sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures. Who are we to judge? Driven down face first. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. 
She's invoking the power of the Soul Siphon. Byron, you okay for this? You know this move makes me want to run, Corey. What the hell did we just witness? Into the cover. And she kicks at it, too. At this point in the match, that could have gone either way. And using the bottom rope boot salt. That was unique. Stopping down. And she's gone after her opponent's core a few times now. She sent flying into the corner. The fatigue is setting in for her. Well, no, it's roll up. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. What a counter! Power slam! She's going up! Top rope here, sky high. Oh no, crashing hard onto the floor. Oh no, on the apron, what a moonsault. Incredible athleticism. Throwing all costs into the wind. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. There's a neck breaker. Three, She's in the ring now. Four, oh! Five, and she denies Cross. Five, and misses on the springboard. Five, boom, boom, persistent barrage. Oh my gosh! Trying to debilitate the capability to stand. The end is looming now. This is a very dangerous situation now. Elbow drop. Oof. Big right hand. Brought right down with a DDT. Oh my God. Nikki off. Cover! She wins! She wins! Here is your winner, the captain, Gage Cindy! Nikki Cross falling short of the win. Losing like this would demoralize a normal superstar, but lucky for Nikki, she's far from normal.
Here's Asuka, like we've never seen her before. And from Osaka, Japan, Asuka! If Asuka defeats Cap here tonight, nobody in the WWE Universe will be safe. Like we're safe with Cap puppeting people around like marionettes. This battle will take place in the ring, but none of us are safe. Only in WWE will you get a match not just between athletes, but between opposing supernatural forces. There's been a dark force that's always played a part in the WWE Universe, and I think we're seeing a battle for that power tonight. I don't know if either Asuka or Cap can eventually wield the power, but I know it can only be one of them. DDT! Lights out. Oh! Ah, look at this. Well, that'll do some serious damage. Anything Asuka is trying is being suppressed. Rare to see Asuka in distress like this. Left by the turnbuckles. And Asuka's opposition not looking overwhelmed by her there. Yeah, but too soon to be worried. Crossbody! And into the count. Two! She kicks out with authority after two. No celebrations yet. Avoiding contact. Uh-oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Bottom rope moonsault on the mark. Ooh. She had it scouted. Momentum going back to up. Attempt to strike here, but Asuka counters with a spin kick. She's invoking the soul siphon. If Cap's got her in her grasp, there's no hope for Asuka now. Wait, is Asuka trying to fight it? Asuka's doing more than fighting it. She's using the same power against her. Is this really happening? Get on board, Saxton. The real question is, who's more powerful? And Asuka's down. Asuka was foolish to try something that Cap has already perfected. Does that even count as a pin? She's not even touching Asuka. I guess it counted because it's over. You know, that's not the spirit of the rule. Neither is floating an opponent during a match. Uh, Michael, back me up here. Guys, when you've been around here as long as I have, you learn not to question these things. Oh my, they're both down. Is this even something medical can help with? If I were them, I'd stay far away from whatever's happening. Look who decided to wake up. Where am I? Trainer's room. You passed out in the ring. I don't understand. I defeated Asuka. All of the amulet's power that escaped should have come back to me. That's what I was trying to tell you. The amulet didn't disappear because its power was going to you and Asuka. It disappeared because you both had fed it enough to unleash the creature. What? That's where the power is now. Haven't you noticed? I have felt a bit weaker lately. You were only a vessel, a way for the creature to rebuild its strength until it was ready to break free. Now, you know how sometimes people have to fight their metaphorical demons in this business? I think this time, you might have to fight yours. Literally. That is, if you can. I'm ready. I actually feel more like myself than I have in a long time. I hope so. I don't think you'll have all the powers you've been using lately to take this on. You'll need to draw on everything else you've got inside you to defeat the darkness you unleashed.
Cap is here, and she looks like her old self. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Sweetwater, Texas, the captain, Gage Belts, Cindy. Cole, what is happening? We haven't seen Cap like this in quite some time. I don't know, Corey. All I know is we are surrounded by evil. Cap asked for power. Now she has to face it. My God. Are we really seeing this? And from the other side of darkness. This is not what I signed up for in any way, shape, or form. That abomination should not exist in the WWE Universe. Yet, here we are. Believe your eyes. That manifestation of evil is real. And this fight is happening. I thought we had seen it all, but now this? Do we really have to stay and call this match? They say the safest place to be during a creepy supernatural match is right at ringside. Who says that, Cole? I just made it up to make Byron feel better. Did it work? Nope. Right to the chest and then the throat. Wicked. Saxon thrown out of a few local bars like that before. Uh, please don't remind me, Corey. For a fisherman buster. Into the pin attempt. A kick out before the referee can get to one. She still has enough energy for a simple kick out. Got the leg. And Elbow drop to the knee. Flips it back on her. Ooh, headbutt from the rear. Nasty headbutt. Cover, cover. She powers out immediately there. An almost instantaneous kick out there. A lot of work left to do. Right to the chest and then the throat. Wicked. Pinning down their opponent's arm and a carefully measured knee drop. Inverted layout DDT. And manifestation got tested there. Now we know what the five fingers say to the face. Oh, right on the arm. Measured knee drop. She has to figure something out for this. Yeah, she has to start returning fire fast. She's rising back up on those wobbly legs. that 
was, but it's over. It's looking like not only a victory, but the beginning of a new chapter for the cap. And maybe the end of an old one? That was a different woman in the ring than we've seen the past few weeks. What now? It's gone. And I thought I had no clue what was going on before. You know what? I give up. Someone's been busy, hasn't she? I'd like to think I understood the assignment. That you have. And it's still the tip of the iceberg. I have a fantastic opportunity for you. I'm listening. How would you like to try your hand at one of the most unique experiences in WWE? A position where you'll be able to set the agenda, take control of the whole of the WWE Universe, and truly make a mark. And this magical mystery opportunity will let me do all that? Indeed, in the prestigious role of WWE Raw General Manager. Isn't that you? What, are you going on vacation or something? Well, now that you mention it, I may have plans. Aha! But this is fertile ground for you too. Stepping into a WWE authority role, applying your talents to the other side of sports entertainment, Sure, booking may be a balancing act sometimes, but you already know that from your work as co-owner of TBD. I'm not convinced that this offer isn't just because you want a vacation. But nonetheless, I'll do it. Splendid! I can't wait to catch my flight. Um, uh, see you in action. So when do I start? Well, I should start heading to the airport. So, how's now? Seriously? Don't worry, Raw practically GMs itself. Sure, Bianca needs a challenger for Survivor Series. Bailey and Becky have both been bothering me incessantly about their booking, and the suits in Stanford are especially sensitive to ratings right now. But you'll figure it out. All that GMs itself? Are you sure that's it? Yes. Oh, wait, no. Charlotte needs an opponent for tonight. Actually, this is a good way for you to set the tone of how you'll be running Raw. Every match should tell a story, so you just need to decide which story you'd like to tell. Such as? Are you going to choose an up-and-comer like Nikita Lyons to challenge the Queen? Maybe someone she has a lot of history with, like Rhea Ripley. Or maybe you want to dig into Charlotte's past a bit further. She goes way back with Natalia including the feud that made Charlotte the first woman to hold all major singles titles in WWE. So, what kind of story do you want to tell? Who will you choose to take on Charlotte? I may have history with Rhea Ripley, but that also means I know she's a formidable opponent. I'd like to see her face Charlotte. Fantastic choice. Well, good luck to you. I have every confidence, and just a word of advice. Do try to be as neutral as possible as GM. You may find yourself rooting for the talent you put forth, sometimes even as strongly as if you were in the ring yourself. It's a new era on Raw as the captain helms the ship as temporary general manager. So far, it looks promising. Cap has made one match here, Cole. Let's not give her GM of the year just yet. I agree, Corey. This is a good start, but let's see what else Cap has planned. Wow, that hurt! That kind of focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. Oh, that backfired on her. Oh, what an elbow. What now? Oh, my God! Every strike more devastating than the last. Yeah. Taking out the knee. And Charlotte with her. Lock it in, the dragon sleeper. I don't know what choice she has except to tap out here. She's going to have to tap. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. She's back just in time. Thank goodness I did not want to count out. Shock strong! And Charlotte got rocked off of that one. 
And as this fight goes on, Rhea's reaching new levels of brutality. She anticipated that one. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. I oh, had that well scouted. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Uh-oh. We're going to see it. Power. Sit down. Power bomb. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Ooh, look at her answering back. Woo! Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. Oh, Charlotte Flair setting up into a... Oh, wait a second. Caught in midair. Face buster. Rhea going... She's looking for the win. Almost ended it there. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. Dodge. Right on cue. Oh, look at this aggression in the corner. Yeah. Queen changes the direction of that one. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Stiff elbow will break that up. Rhea Ripley with the win. Might topple the queen. Two count. What an incredible match and win for Rhea Ripley. Here is your winner, Rhea Ripley. A monumental victory for Rhea Ripley here tonight. This rivalry never fails to impress. And we can already tell that the next time Rhea and Charlotte cross paths, we'll once again witness something special. If I could have a minute. <sighs> what is it, Troy? I honestly don't have time for your tone tonight. I'm trying to manage a show. My tone? I would never use a tone with you. <laughs> I, I think you're doing a great job, top notch. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Oh, you're serious. I guess now that I'm the management, you have to suck up to me. I'm not sucking up. I, I think... Your ideas are genius, boss. Of course they are, Troy. I'm smart. Now what's up? Yeah, Becky and Bailey. They're being particularly difficult in hounding us to be named Bianca's next challenger at Survivor Series. Ah, I'm sure they snuck into your DMs too, but I'm used to superstars pestering us for opportunities. <laughs> no offense. But this is getting out of hand. How do you want me to handle it? I don't know why you think this is rocket science, Troy. Just have Becky and Bailey face each other. Winner gets the title opportunity. So easy, any capable WWE producer could think of it. Which I guess you're not. Of course, I'll set it up. So sorry, boss. You're absolutely right. I'll do better next time. Really appreciate your guidance and support. <laughs> I could get used to this version of you, Troy. I'm not here to fight. 
Good. I don't want to fight either. Then maybe we can work together on my idea? And what's that? Survivor Series. I know for a fact that not only has Ron not announced a main event, but Regal had nothing in the plans yet. So, let's take the bull by the horns and do something truly spectacular. War Games! I can't just book a War Games match, Shotzi. Why not? Are you GM in name only? No, I mean, I love War Games as much as the next person. But it's not a match to be taken lightly. You need a reason. Something that merits putting two teams who want each other's throats inside a double ring cage to battle it out with abandon. Who would even be the captains? I captained my team in NXT, and I was excellent. Ah, so this is the classic, my pitch is that I should be in a main event pitch, right? There are rules to booking. Excuse me, but... When did Little Miss TBD Rebel, who puts people through tables, become a lawful, good rule follower? Don't you ever just want to smash things for the hell of it anymore? Actually, you may have a point. I do miss that. So let's screw the so-called rules and do this. Put yourself in it against me and we can absolutely destroy each other in that cage. We pick teams, go all out, and millions of people tune in to watch the joyful carnage. The two of us are perfect for war games. You're the captain, and I already drive a tank to the ring for crying out loud. You know what, Shotzi? It might not be a terrible idea. Let me think on it. That's all I'm asking for. Well, if it isn't the new GM of Raw. Lita! Hey! (laughs) This is awkward, huh? Don't worry about it. As far as I'm concerned, the past is in the past. I'm not here to attack you or get any revenge. At least not on you. Uh, Then why are you here? I love that even in your first outing as GM, you put your focus on a tried and tested rivalry. Maybe it even offered some closure to Charlotte and Rhea. (laughs) I doubt that. Yeah, honestly, me too. But maybe it'll be different for me. I still feel like I have some loose ends from over the years to tie up with Trish. You don't say. Hey, at least we know we have a problem, and that's the first step. Can you book me in a match against her? It's just better if it comes from you. Trish and Lita in a match on my Raw? It would be my pleasure. Two of the greatest of all time in one of the greatest rivalries of all time. One more chapter starting right now. Trish and Lita have inspired millions around the world. Props to our GM, the captain, for making this match on Raw tonight. I've had the honor of calling matches between these two before, but it never gets old seeing these two legends lock up. Ooh, and a kick. Elbow drop. Piercing. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thing. Blast off. Diving leg drop from the top rope. Cover. She's quick to get her shoulder up. She's not going quietly into the good night here, making things very interesting. Measured kick to the vertebrae. Stratus needs to figure this out. Trish needs to reassess her strategy. Oh, and a reversal. Trish showing she's not out of it. Yeah, but Stratus needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. These two having an answer for everything. She re-enters the ring now. Fast press! Fast press! Fast press! Maybe not! Maybe not! Raising the arm before one. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. No! finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own. Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. Uh-oh. No! A 
collision like that could mark a turning point for this entire match. Oof. She is not amused in the slightest. Showing off the quickness. That'll turn things around in a hurry. Enough already. Look at this. Oh, God, that hurt. Legs up. Big headbutt to the guts. She's lost some of that energy she had earlier. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about pick. Wow, wiping that smug look right off her face. Momentum's with Lita right now. Lita with such an unflinching look to her here. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Lita with a kick to the midsection. And the batting EDT. That might clinch this for Lita. Cover! Two. Oh, a kick out, kick out at two. Amazing. I can't believe Tris was able to get the shoulder up in time. Lita went all out. It wasn't enough. Wonder where her head's at now after coming so close. Just a relentless attack for Lita. It's like Lita is doing whatever she feels like doing. Trish Strat is trying to ramp things up. Ooh, refusing to let her get into her head. One, two, Here is your winner, Lita. This one really could have gone either way, but it is Lita standing tall right now. Yeah, we knew coming into this match that she and Trish knew each other well, and that would come into play here. Come to congratulate me on a successful show. <laughs> I was just out back soaking in the success of the Trish and Lita match. So you didn't see the number one contender match with Becky and Bailey? No, that match practically booked itself. Why? Who won? Who are we putting against Bianca at Survivor Series? We have a problem. Damage control ran in during the match. And at first it looked like maybe a straightforward DQ victory for Becky, but then she got irked and went after them. And technically the bell rang at some point, but with all the fighting that broke out outside the ring, nobody really won. And we still need a challenger for Bianca. If I may make a meager suggestion, Survivor Series is right around the corner. You may just have to step up as GM and make a decision. No, we still have one Raw left before Survivor Series. Let's do a rematch. Becky versus Bailey to determine Bianca's challenger. Do you really think the match will go any differently this time around? I do. Because as much as it pains me to admit it, you're right about one thing. I need to step up as GM. So I'll be serving as special guest referee. bringing indie cred and attitude to the WWE ring. It's Cap! The following contest is a special guest referee match! Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, the captain, Gage Belt Cindy. Cap has been making waves ever since her WWE tryout. 
If by waves you mean doing a great job of making the rest of the locker room suspicious of her motives, then yeah, sure. The captain is ready to call the shots. Make way for the man. A woman who's done it all, but always wants a fight. And the participants, first from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch! The climb to greatness was filled with obstacles for Becky Lynch. She's earned everything she has and is always seeking new challenges to overcome. I have all the respect in the world for what Becky Lynch has accomplished. My question is, will we see someone knock her off the top of the mountain? A match against Bailey is opportunity. Ringing the doorbell. Ding dong. Hello. Hopefully, this young lady doesn't get the door slammed in her face. from San Jose, California, Bailey. You know, with everything Bailey has accomplished, I still wonder why she's just so unpleasant, so hostile all the time. Well, maybe you should just mind your business, Saxton, because you're talking about the first women's Grand Slam champion, the first women's Triple Crown winner. And not only is Bailey physical in the ring, but she can uh, beat you mentally as well. Yeah, Bailey's new attitude was very upsetting for fans who had supported Bailey for years. You include yourself in that group, Saxton, because I find it apropos when Bailey calls you an idiot. She doesn't mean it, does she? Oh, yeah. Well, you know what they say, guys? To be the man, you have to beat the man. And she's about to face the man. Not going to go down without the fight of her life tonight. Our general manager, the captain, promises that we'll have a number one contender by the end of this match. Will it be Becky Lynch or Bailey? We'll know soon enough. And with referee in position, and she kicks out. And the referee was right there with a proper count. Our official didn't show any favorites with that count. Put her in position now. Is this even legal? I don't think so. Oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Mat slam with some attitude. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Exploder suplex. Bailey's gaining the upper hand. Lynch is going to have to dig down deep here. She responds with a counter. Big knee looking for a pinfall. And that only gets a one count. And our guest referee counting the pin right down the line. One of the more fair counts I've seen. Can't complain about the officiating there. Ooh, just relentless. Nothing was being held back with each of those strikes. Oh, the reversal by Becky Lent. Double underhook. The armbar! Oh, I think she fights her way out of the armbar. Yeah. 
getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Standard pin count from her there. Official was in the right position at the right time. Uh-oh, the forearm's gonna cut off the win. Guillotine a pluck. Gotta find a way out of the guillotine. They're not gonna last long. Well, what a bridge and out. Incredible. Nice running crossbody. Well measured. She's going. From the top rope. Oh, she lands hard. Now Becky Lynch with a close line and another one. And she'll follow up with a calf kick. Barely not quite taking charge of the situation right now, despite her game plan. Look out. Leg draw from the top by the man. Seeing a thunderous attack from Becky. Bailey could be on fit ice now. And the referee was in perfect position for the count. Give the ref credit. That's a fair count. Becky Lynch looking to secure the win. And the win. Handle. Slam. Lynch got all of her. Lightning fast three count. I'm disgusted by this official. Here's your Becky and the man stands victorious here tonight. You have to give credit to Bailey for giving it her all, but Becky Lynch was just too much. Oh, props to Becky Lynch. When the man comes around to collect, someone's catching a beating. And that was too much for Bailey to endure. Well, that was something. Hey. <laughs> You were the one who said I should put my finger on the scale. Yeah, but I thought that and don't get caught part was implied. <sighs> Guess not. I wasn't actively trying to get caught. Too bad you don't have the chance to course correct the championship match before Survivor Series. But maybe I do. How? Survivor Series is this weekend. You can't send Becky and Bailey back out there tonight for another rematch. No, but there's another option. As someone said recently, I'm Miss TBD Rebel, not a lawful good rule follower. And Raw is a three-hour show. There's an announcement I need to make. All right, Miss TBD Rebel. Whatever you've got up your sleeve, good luck. This is the second time we've seen the acting Raw general manager in the ring tonight, but this time she has a special announcement. Here's hoping this goes more smoothly than her stint as special guest referee. As GM, I'm not deaf to the concerns of the WWE Universe. Specifically, that my involvement in our number one contender match earlier tonight may have made it look like management was biased towards Becky Lynch. I assure you, my intent as GM is simply to put on the best show for the WWE Universe. And that applies to not just Raw, but Survivor Series. As such, it is my duty to inform you that Bianca Belair will not be defending the Women's World Championship this weekend. Bianca's being pulled from Survivor Series? She will not be defending this weekend because it's clear Bailey and Becky Lynch are not done yet. I just hope they have allies to rally to their side. Eight fighters, two teams of four. War Games! War Games at Survivor Series? I'm not missing this one. Well, we're paid to be there, Saxton. I know, but it's still incredibly exciting.
I probably should be upset at you for putting another hurdle in front of my title match. But honestly, fair play. Glad we're okay. We are. And I respect your hustle. You've made a lot of bold choices since coming to WWE. It's one of the reasons I want you to be on my War Games team. Really? I like your instincts. Especially when you get in trouble and have to think quickly on your feet. Heck, I even trust your instincts. Team with me, and I'll let you pick the rest of the War Games team. Uh, let me think about it. You really did it this time, didn't you, you dummy? I think you'd be happy that you're getting another opportunity to earn the title match in War Games. Should have just booked the War Games match from the start, honestly. Want to be on my team? Why do you want me on your team? I think it's pretty clear from your time as GM that you've been going into business for yourself here and just doing whatever you can to scrape by. And that's exactly what I look for in damage control. So what do you say? Join me, Dakota, and Io in the fight to secure my WWE Women's World Championship match? I'll get back to you. Hey, I've been looking for you. I thought we were gonna meet outside of catering. <laughs> Turns out I was pretty busy in here. Both Becky and Bailey want me to be on their war games team. You can't be serious. You lost this up so badly and they both want you on their team? Hmm. What can I say? I'm a catch. I swear there's something in the water around here that allows you to walk away from the consequences of your actions unscathed. <laughs> I'm sure putting yourself into the main event while you're also acting GM will be no different. <laughs> Thanks for another great promoter lecture. Look, I know you're gonna do it anyway. Who are you teaming with? Becky said she'd let me pick the rest of the team. I'm joining her side. Can't wait for you to get absolutely no flack for putting yourself into the match that you set up. Have you decided who else you'll ask to join you and Becky? Well, good luck. I'm sure it'll be interesting. wanted a war, and now she has one. Introducing first, from Sweetwater, Texas, the captain, Gage Belts, Cindy! Cap has to be the worst general manager in Raw history. She puts herself in war games, and I heard it wasn't even her idea. Uh, rumors aren't facts, Corey. And besides, anyone who competes in this type of match deserves our respect. Up aboard, it's go time for the captain.
Bailey is a ring general ready for battle. And representing damage control from San Jose, California, Bailey. Understand this Bailey will deceive you, she will stab you in the back. She will do bad things to good people to get that Women's World Championship. And that's why I love her. None of those things will make a bit of a difference once the door of that cage closes behind her. Bailey's going to survey the battlefield, then her forces will attack. War Games is a match with no rivals, two rings, one giant cage, and eight superstars ready to risk it all for the big victory. Not only is pride on the line here, Cole, but depending on which team wins, we're going to have either Becky Lynch or Bayley as the number one contender to Bianca Belair's title. That's true, but first things first, no one in this match should be looking past the goal of surviving War Games. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. She returns the favor there. And then a stop to the back. What a bionic elbow. Uh-oh, this is just vicious, vicious arm stop. Oh, what a kick. And Bailey is being humbled here. Bailey looks to be well measured right now. Oh, damage to the hamstrings. She's looking highly motivated, getting hyped up. Oh, with authority. Look at Bailey, fast press. Counting down to seconds until this match becomes a bit lopsided. The holding cage has been open, and we're about to see a bit of a handicap match here, gentlemen. Rolling down low, striking the front and back of the leg, and then a double stop to the lower back. What a shot! Looks like they're bringing additional firepower with them into what is now essentially a handicap match. Enters the ring and is diving head first into the chaos of this match. Oh, yeah. Becky connects. Oh. Able to reverse. Ooh, shot that chair right in. Bailey is now under pressure. If Bailey can just weather this storm, she'll be fine. not backing down, not toning it down for anyone. We're seconds away from these teams being at even strength. What a monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. Charging toward the ring and looking to even things up. Oh! Big shot taken. That one's going to leave a well. Just one right after the other. Can't be stopped. Expected that one. And we might be seeing a competitor crumbling before our very eyes. This is just getting uncomfortable at this point. And elusive Bailey there. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Kick in Africa. Big form. Oh my, a jumpy DDT. Absolutely planted. Ran right through that close. Oh, wow. What impact! 
And the lock applied by Becky Lynch into the reverse DDT. She's starting to climb up the wall of the cage, but I have no earthly... Launching. Big miss right there. That kick will stop you in your tracks. Oh, my gosh. Oh, man. Spine-crushing impact. Double underhook. Running senton. She fights her way out of the armbar. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! And Bailey's resolve might be wavering here. That can't be how Bailey envisioned tonight going. Gentlemen, the advantage has officially shifted. Dominating shoulder tackle. advantage here? Is this really necessary? From the top. Oh! Bailey has bad intentions for Becky. And I don't like it, but in war games, a one-sided brawl is all perfectly legal. We know what's coming next. What more can be done at this point? So to yet another attack. Oh, here he comes! Belly. Here comes the buzzer. The numbers advantage vanishes with this next entrant. Justine in a very vulnerable position here. Freed from the cage, and now needs to make haste to even up the fight. Launched into the cage. And she's using this moment to summon all of her strength. Oh, four to the sky. And she will climb the cage. Not the smartest of ideas. Sky high. Oh, God. Even the teams are looking under the ring for a little extra insurance. Move the pop Suplex. Launched. She looks hell bent on finishing things right now. Lift off. The Steve Justin Jarrett cannot finish Bailey. That'd be a full control here. Now it's Lynch. Is it the finishing touch Lynch needs? Down for a European. Oh, that can't be. No, no. Where's Joey Styles when you need him? Tom Spider now. to surely become the tide turner for their team. And Becky Lynch looking for it. And yeah, here's Becky Lynch. Dio's in dire straits. Uh, over and over, knees in the corner. Bring another advantage. Dakota Khan. Through the ring. A couple of knees, and then another one, and that'll force the break. Uh-oh. I don't like this idea one bit. No good reason to be climbing here. She just got flung all the way to the other ring. Boots. 
Things will go back to an even playing field with the next entrant. Door swings open and out they come. And their team could definitely use their help. She gets launched all the way to the other way. And now it looks like she's struggling for air. Continued shots of the corner will do that to you. And her leg has been targeted a few times. for the last time as War Games officially begins. Each of these teams calculating what their fastest way to victory is now. Made her pay for her mistake. <laughs> Becky Lynch, hammerlock. And the attacks up there must be taking their toll. Her vision's got to be seeing some dark spots at this point. Heartbreaker. Dakota is in a daze. Could be over soon. The snap there. Sending the War Games cage. No idea what her plan can be. Double leg drop. She may be looking defenseless. Getting tossed by the hurry. Could be over here. This is it. She kicks out the force. What does she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. Into the power bomb. She starts to rise. But does she know where she is? Cover! Tomatoes in crisis mode. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Becky Lynch, her salon. There it is. Manhandle slam. Oh, no. Now, what's the set up for a submission minute? Watch out. Guillotine! It's in deep. Utilizing her power. This team will take, in my opinion, a well-deserved victory lap. No way to sugarcoat it, gentlemen. This is about the toughest test you can face here in the WWE. And they passed it with flying colors. Becky and the captain are still celebrating their epic War Games victory. And why wouldn't they? You're now looking at the number one contender for the Women's World Championship and the GM who put her in that position. This will go a long way in shaping the future of the women's division on Raw. Shotzi? Is that a full-size tank? Oh, my God. Shotzi came prepared. I guess she graduated into something larger. She's not stopping. This is going to be bad. I don't want to watch, but I can't take my eyes off what's about to happen. Shotzi just picked up speed. She's going to rail the cage. Oh, into the side. Oh, down they go. This is bad. I can't believe what just happened. We need some help out here, fast. Whatever her issue was, Shotzi took things way too far here tonight. What the hell was Shotzi doing? I've had no problem with her. Yeah, I may have something to do with that. <laughs> Oops. Oops? I'm gonna be out for months. Is that really all you have to say? How about oops? I got carried away booking matches for forgetting to manage people. At least that seems to be the case based on what I've pieced together. You're back. I was having a splendid time communing with the blue-footed booby of the Galapagos. But then, I caught wind of a few questionable developments. We should talk. I swear, I had it all under control. I watched Shotzi crash a tank into the War Games cage. Fair point. And perhaps, even more egregiously, you announced War Games without me. That's my thing. I announce war games. I'm sorry? Respectfully, you're fired from being Raw GM. I accept. It wasn't a question. All that being said, with our newly minted number one contender injured, we still need a challenger for Bianca. 
You know, what you've consistently failed to nail down. I hate rewarding you for this mess. But I'm a much better GM than you are, so I'm going to make the right choice for the show. And unfortunately, there's someone who helped lead her team to victory who's rightfully next in line for the opportunity. You'll be getting the championship match against Bianca Belair on the next Raw. Here we go with this so-called major announcement. I'm afraid this is a good news, bad news kind of night. And I've always been a bad news first kind of girl. So here goes. With our fearless leader, William Regal returned, looking quite tan, might I add. The time has come for me to step down as your raw general manager. I actually thought she did a great job, guys. Are you kidding me, Byron? Well, at least it was exciting. All right, so there may have been some mixed opinions on my stint as GM, but I'm sure that's only because we all know where I really belong, which is fighting in a WWE ring. Not sure that's the only reason. Which is why I'm pleased to announce, given Becky's unfortunate medical status, at the hands of someone who William Regal has assured me will be dealt with. The real suits have decided to name a new number one contender for the Women's World Championship. Me! Huge news for the Women's World title. And that championship match is happening right now! After all the confusion around Survivor Series, we're finally getting to see Bianca defend her championship. So, Bianca Belair, let's... This woman just will not stop coming after the captain. If her grievance was big enough to get her to take down the War Games cage in a tank, did you really expect her to let it go? Hey there, friend. <sighs> Give it a rest, Shotzi. Haven't you done enough at this point? I think what you meant to say is, thank you for making me number one contender, Shotzi. Sorry you hurt your leg in that unfortunate tank incident. <laughs> Wait, how did you get hurt when you were driving the tank? Is this really all because I didn't give you proper credit for your terribly original idea of, let's have a war games match at Survivor Series? and didn't even put me in the match. But no, this isn't an isolated incident. This, apparently, is just what you do. Playing in other people's sandboxes, stealing other people's ideas, and jumping every line. You may have William Regal fooled, but not me, and not the locker room. Oh, I'm sure, Shotzi. Cutting lines might work in TBD, but in WWE, there are consequences. Bailey? That's Bailey's music, but where is she? Is Shotzi just playing mind games here? Bailey from behind! Shotzi's found an ally who's not okay with being skipped over for a women's world championship match. I don't blame her. It was supposed to be either Bailey or Becky. Cap weaseled in there. Wait, we're getting a call from the back. This is an official match. Here we go. We thought it was all over at War Games, but Cap getting named number one contender apparently upset certain members of the locker room. Yeah, at least the ones who felt they were more deserving coming out of that War Games match. Either way, Bianca Belair just got a night off while two of her possible future opponents are gonna tear each other apart. The women's world champion is the real winner here. Ah, uh, setting them up for Fisherman's Buster. And into the count. She breaks the count quick. Not getting the two at this point has gotta say something. Oh! Ah, uh, straight to the floor. Paying the price of treating your own body like a human crash test dummy. Driven into the barricade. <laughs> Held in a perilous position. No, 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 no. Power bomb out of the apron. 
She's just appearing powerless to each attack. Yeah, you have to think her confidence is dropping now. Right to the leg. Ah, stop to the belly. Jarring impact. And Bailey taking the brunt of it there. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. She's in the ring now. Look at her taking in all the energy from the crowd. Telling her opponent that she has even more left in her tank. She was a millisecond away from a count of guys. Is it enough? The cover! Two! Stopping the refs counted two. She just will not go away. Kick gets caught. Quick exchange of counters there. And I think we just might see. Oh, said flying. Is it enough to put Bailey away? Shoulders down. An incredible victory for the captain here tonight. She certainly solidified her position as the number one contender. Johnson from behind with that crutch. Come on. What the heck? She claimed she was injured. She was just pulling all our legs, Cole. Shotzi laying the boots in now. Compared to the tank, this is nothing. Finally, the referee getting control of the situation. She's using that crutch on her throat. Shotzi wasn't done. Russian leg sweep with the crutch. At least Shotzi's made her point now, and we can finally get on to the business of the Women's World Championship next week. I'm not so sure, Byron. Neither am I. Based on what Shotzi said earlier, I doubt that this satisfied her desire for revenge. She's on a mission. Does it look smaller? Huh? That's what kids always say when they come back home, right? They go off to the great wide world, come home, and everything looks small. I haven't seen you around here much lately. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little smaller? I was in the neighborhood. Figured I'd stop in to get a few reps in before my big match with Bianca. Shotzi's not also in the neighborhood, is she? You know my insurance doesn't cover tanks. I don't think you have to worry. Tanks don't get great gas mileage, so she probably won't come crashing through the wall. No promises, though. And just when I was starting to feel nostalgic about you breaking things around here. How are you feeling after that crutch attack? I'm fine. Can you believe Shotzi's still bitter you didn't book her in TBD? And now she's turning it into a whole thing about how I stole her so-called war games idea. In fairness, it's you who didn't want to book her. What? Really? I believe your words at the time were, I'm not impressed. That does sound like me. But I was probably just being flippant. Being flippant without thinking that your actions could actually have consequences? Yeah, definitely you. Then, on purpose or not, Shotzi effectively brings you up to the big leagues, and instead of any sort of thanks, you steamroll right into a fantastical whirlwind tour of all things WWE. Let's be fair. I didn't steamroll right away. And Shotzi brought me to Raw so she could make an example of me. Maybe. But is that also why she pitched you the idea for a War Games match when you were GM? A match you thought was a good enough idea to book but then shut her out of? I never said it was my idea. Besides, it wasn't a groundbreaking suggestion, and everything worked out. Right, because I'm sure the WWE Universe saw the superstar GM announce the War Games match, put herself in it, and then thought, hmm, who else can I give credit to for setting up this awesome main event? It worked out for you. And now you get a championship match against Bianca Belair. Shotzi? Not so much. Jeez. 
Whose side are you on, Geneva? You know whose side I'm on. That's why I gotta be straight with you, to make sure you get your head right so you can take that title from Bianca. <sighs> you know, after ignoring WWE for so long, becoming their champion is the only thing I can dream of. This is a moment of destiny for a woman who spent years crisscrossing the world and honing her skills before finally arriving in the big leagues of WWE. You can really feel the electricity in the arena, Michael. Waiting on the champion here. It's obvious Bianca's playing mind games with her opponent. Oh boy, here we go again. Shotzi's vendetta against the number one contender continues. And it looks like she's had about enough of it. No, no, guys, guys, it's not what you think. I have a seriously heartwarming announcement. Bianca Belair can't be here tonight. This is the second time the number one contender's match has been called off. No, I told you, it's actually heartwarming. Bianca was wrapping up an appearance at a nearby community center before the show, when suddenly, out of nowhere, three buses of adorable children from a local school showed up, excited to meet the women's world champion. And you know how Bianca is. She wouldn't leave until everyone got a picture and an autograph. How those buses showed up just in time to prevent Bianca from making it here for her championship match tonight, we may never know. But Bianca just couldn't leave those sweet children hanging. Are you seriously booing children? Wow, what a bloodthirsty bunch you all are. I did feel bad that you didn't have a match anymore tonight, though. Oh no, it's not me. I have the night off from in-ring action, just like at War Games. But these three women do not. Oh my, the cap has history with all these women. And we're getting word from the truck that she'll be facing them in a fatal four-way. I think she said to bring it on. Easy to say, harder to survive. Shotzi's curated a formidable challenge for the number one contender. Honestly, I'm just impressed that Shotzi managed to curate this match and three busloads of children in the same day. What? That was Shotzi? For God's sakes, catch up, Byron. Nonetheless, this is going to be a huge fatal four-way contest here on Raw. Like you said, Corey, Cap definitely has a target on her back due to her history with these three other superstars. I'm just wondering after all these false starts, if can she keep her down? And now to live. And that'll be a rope break right there. Persistence only got squished there. Driven down face first. Oh, ouch! Measured knee drop. Just going all out with every blow. Oh, uncorked a big punch. That was not just painful on the shoulder. That pain can shoot all the way up to the neck and all the way down the arm. This is a smart strategy. Series of reversals. Is on the springboard. Oh, and Morgan saves herself. Uh oh, monkey flip. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Big impact. Now, that'll do some serious damage. Reversal from Morgan. Oh, man, by the hair. Hair whip. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever 
see, but it sure looks effective from here. Oh, look at that scope slip. And now she's getting back into the ring. Kick to the gut. Here it comes. No doubt Ripley just ended this. Still in it with a quick kick out. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. And Ripley is stunned right now. So many opponents have fallen to that move, but not this one. Ugh. What a hot shot. It's an odd way to the outside. Suplex. Improving a bit slippery for them there. Kill with a smile and wound with her eyes. Slippery! And Rhea on the wrong end of some aggression there. Yeah, this fatal four-way has certainly taken its toll, Michael. wasn't it? You're the reason I'm missing my championship match with Bianca. Again! Oh, it's hardly my fault. Your car service was way too willing to accommodate your new itinerary. You know, they really should have some sort of security on that. Figured the least I could do was play hooky from Raw 2 so we could have a little chat. You really want to do this here? Fight in an airport lounge? Absolutely not. They'd never let me back in, and I love their little mini cupcakes too much. I just want what's mine. What exactly is that, Shotzi? I can't go back in time and hire you at TBD. I can't go back and put you in war games. Your obsession with me is unhealthy. What's unhealthy is theft. And I'm not just talking about war games. You may have gotten a free pass from Regal to waltz around WWE, ripping off other people's ideas, moves, and gear, but you didn't get a free pass from me. You're the number one contender. That should be me. Put it on the line in a match. Win or lose, we are done after that. If it means never having to deal with your BS again, fine, you're on, but only because there's no way I lose.
From the moment the captain arrived in WWE, Shotzi has had it out for. Now they finally meet again to settle their issues. This goes back even further to the independent scene. It's a long-standing grudge that transitioned to WWE and then was punctuated with a tank attack. It seems like a Falls Count Anywhere match is a perfect way for these two to wrap up their long-time battle. Dragon screw! Ooh. Ooh. Great way to break down your opponent. EDT plants them. Letting her opponent know she is ready for anything. Measured knee drop. Cravat locked in. Hip breaker. Shotzi's. And this one might be headed ringside. Holy meet the barricade. Cravat locked in. Neck breaker. I don't know if Shotzi can withstand much more of this. Destructive amount of work being done to Shotzi right now. Boom. Great awareness as he proves to be too quick. A defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Able to get the advantage here. And Shotzi puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against her. She isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put it into her. Digging the steel steps right into them. Disgusting. Ooh. And she is doing whatever she wants right now. She's efficient and dangerous with her offense thus far. Trumping the knee for more punishment. Shotzi able to avoid impact. Double axe handle smash. The close of this match is just ahead. Yeah, she is in a rough spot now. Fishing for something beneath the ring. And here comes Old Faithful. The steel chair is in hand. Stuffing the chair between the top and middle row. She's looking for something under the ring to even her odds here. Uh-oh. I don't know what she has planned with that kendo stick. Sent into the corner. Measured knee drop. Just a continuous rush on Shotzi here. Shotzi has to find a way to right the ship here. Thrown kendo stick. Is it enough? The cover! There's two! I can't believe my eyes! She just kicked out! Uh, I, she kicked out? No way! She actually kicked out? And that one misses the mark. Oh, tracking the kendo stick across the head. Every successive move is putting their opponent in a dicey situation. She's staying elusive. Right to the chest and then the throat. Wicked. Just tossing that kendo stick with total disregard. Last stat there. Picking up speed. Penalty kick. Just breaking down the opponent. Fisherman's Buster! For the win! Two! After years of antagonism, Cap has finally put Shotzi behind her. What a win. I don't think Shotzi got the memo, Saxton. She's not going to take this insult lying down. Spear out of nowhere from Bianca. The women's world champion just obliterated Shotzi. Looks like Bianca's just as tired of Shotzi's shenanigans as anyone. And now the champion and the number one contender are facing off. We may not have to wait for a match. This could jump off right here.
It's finally happening. The number one contender in the Women's World Champion will finally go one-on-one. -on -one. It's about darn time. This is going to be an epic clash for that championship, and I can't wait to see it.